Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on the Kate Spade Natalia Square Crossbody in the color black. I bought it off of the Kate Spade Surprise website. I know Kate Spade makes a lot of cute and adorable designs, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. Now in this video, I'm going to give you my first impression, some details about the bag, show you what fits, and style it with three different outfits. So let's get started. Andiamo! excited Oops. wow they really have a lot of protection on it so that's good Ooh! oh my very nice okay let's see sorry guys let me try to get some of this packaging paper off of the bag Now the first thing that's popping out of me is that is the quilting on it. That kind of gives me Gucci vibes a little bit. Although it's not the Gucci prices. Oh guys, I don't know what's going on with all this packaging. I don't know how I could possibly make this process faster. I'm happy they did such a good job of purging, pretty much covering every single part of the bag. Ooh, it feels good. Sorry guys, I still got apparently more packaging to remove. Just to help keep its shape. Alrighty, finally, I think we have gotten all the packaging out. At least, I hope so. Looks like we still have a little bit left here. Okay. Um, might have to even cut this one out. All right, let me get my scissors. I love the quilted detail that definitely elevates the look, makes it look more classy, more pricey. I also like the unique way that it closes. So you have to kind of push this in and turn it, but I do enjoy that. Now, as you know from my previous video, I am a gold girl. So these accents and details, uh, it's a little confusing to me. They look like a very pale, gold color. I don't know if you can see that. I also like the shape of the bag. It's a really unique shape. It certainly does look square and I like that. It almost gives me like a bit of a nostalgic feel like back in the days. And the last thing I'm liking about this bag is that you can wear it in various ways. So I do like the fact that you can wear it just with the handle and I like the fact that you have a crossbody strap that you can attach to it as well. So let's cut that off. I'll cut this off. Uh, the tag is saying that this bag is $379 US dollars. Now, I personally didn't pay that. It was on sale for $99 on the Kate Spade Surprise website and that's how much I paid for it. So far, what I think is that it's probably gonna come out really great in pictures. As far as the quality, I must say, I paid a little bit more for this bag than my Coach Gallery Mini Crossbody, which I did my first video on. And I think the Coach has a higher quality than the Kate Spade. So this is the first Kate Spade that I've owned. I'm not really sure how long it's gonna last, if it's gonna last like uh, my Coach Tote, which I've had for nine years. I'm not sure if this bag is gonna make nine years, but I guess, I guess I'll find out over time. It is 6.7 inch wide, six inch high, and two inch in diameter. There is a exterior back slip pocket. The handle is a 2.5 inch drop, so a little shorter of a drop than the Coach Mini Gallery crossbody handle. 
Now the strap is a 22 inch drop. In front, the hardware has the Kate Spade New York logo. Like I showed you before, it's a turn lock closure. This bag does not come with a dust bag. I don't know if their other ones do. And as far as credit card slots, it does have, ooh, let's see. One, two, three. Three credit card slots. Not sure if you can see that because it's pretty dark. The material outside is a smooth quilted leather and the trim is a smooth leather trim. Let's see what's in my bag. These are all the things I normally carry. As you can see, my sunglasses are popping out. I don't carry it in a case. It might not fit in this bag if it's in a case. I have my hand soap. This is to be able to wash my hands whenever I'm out in the community. I have my AirPods, keys, first aid kit. In this bag, I have clean gauze, a few band-aids, as well as antibiotic ointment, sunscreen. I have the case to my iPhone. My iPhone isn't in here right now because I'm using it to make this video, but this phone does fit in the back. And the iPhone I have is the 11 Pro Max. Wallet, and that's it. So this is everything I carry in my bag. Can it fit more things than this? Uh, I don't think so. It is pretty much like a game of Tetris to get everything in. So by putting all these things in, it's pretty jam-packed. There is a little bit of flexibility, but can't really carry anything more than this. So I don't mind wearing it like this, but I will show you with the crossbody strap. And because it's a basic black, you can pretty much wear it with any color. You can go all white with the black bag. You can go colorful like I did. I am gonna be wearing black shoes with all these outfits. So it's gonna be the black bag, black shoes, and whatever outfit I choose to wear. Now, because this is a basic black color, I am more than likely gonna be taking this particular bag with me on the Carnival Venezia. So my cruise is coming up. I'm super excited about that. And this is gonna be the basic black that I'm gonna pair with all eight of my dresses. And more than likely, I'm going to wear it as a crossbody, but you never know. I might switch it up and wear it this way instead. Now, let me put this strap on and show you what that looks like. Again, this color gold is like really, really strange. It's like the slightest hint of gold, but it's so slight that it actually looks silver, which is very odd. Okay, let's see how this one looks. Ooh. I feel very professional. Maybe because of the shift uh, dress and the black bag. So this is it on with the crossbody strap. Let me put it over me as a crossbody. I didn't adjust the loops. So it could still extend. It has two more holes on it, but I didn't adjust it. This is how it came. I do like the fact that there's two different textures going on and two different um, materials. So I do like how this is chain and then this is the leather. I think that looks very nice. And with the strange light gold color, I feel like sometimes this is coming across as silver and this is coming across as a pale gold, but I really don't mind. Like I mentioned before, I paid $99 on the Cape Spades Prize website and they still have this color available. Let me put it to the side. I'm trying to give you guys a 360 view and uh, suck in my tummy while I'm at it. <laughs> For your reference, I am 5'8 and 120 pounds. Now let's move on to the second outfit. Hey guys, so this is my second outfit. I went with a white pants and a colorful top. This outfit is a bit more casual. However, I feel like the bag does elevate the look. I 
I like the little bit of shine that the chain strap gives. You could wear an outfit like this out to dinner. I would pair it again with my black shoes and I think this would be appropriate dinner attire. I know guys, I have been mistaken for a mannequin in the past. I hope you guys find my corny jokes funny. Texture of the bag with the texture of the pants and the colorfulness of the top. Another thing is none of the colors are fighting with each other. It all is working seamlessly together. So this outfit looks very complete to me. Okay, I think I'm gonna move on now to the last outfit. All right guys, and this is the last outfit. This dress seems to be clinging to me a little bit. Might have to get some static static guard for it. Um, but yeah, it does have, it, it is very colorful, but at the same time has some darker undertones. There are some dark bluish purplish, I don't know what color that is, violet even. I happen to like the way the floral print goes with the quilted leather. I think that works really well. So let me give you a 360 view. I'll wear it as a crossbody and I'll give you a 360 view that way as well. To apologize, I think I need some static guard for this dress. this bag works really well with all the outfits I paired it with and it's gonna be my new basic black so whenever I go out to dinner go on vacation go to family parties this is my this is gonna be my go-to basic black bag hi guys if you enjoyed the video please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing my next video is gonna be on the Portland leather circle crossbody size small color lavender. This is also the first time that I'm buying from the Portland leather brand. See you in the next video. Ciao Bella!